Magandang umaga mga tao. Damn, it's Sunday. I know I haven't posted vlog in a while. Almost a week, I think. But fear no more. I'm vlogging again. I just had to prepare for my flight test. Well, you know, it's always hard to prepare for the flight test, especially if it's sunny today and tomorrow it's all, it's raining again. But whatever, I still have my, <laughs> I bring my book everywhere. We're gonna get picked up by Tito Darwin and we're going to church. We're running a little late. We just gotta, gotta wait. We should have been there 15 minutes ago, but whatever. Always late. Also, uh, so many stuff has happened already. So I flew with an instructor and he kind of, we did a simulated flight uh, test. We're in, uh, he has this Transport Canada flight, um, flight test guide and he's actually like not talking while we're in the air. He's just grading me pretty much, marking me. Had one air work that I need to work on and we're gonna clean that up and we're gonna fly again. And if it's okay, I'm gonna fly with the CFI chief flight instructor and hopefully, Hopefully I get released to, to do the flight test within May because that's our target is to uh, finish the flight test uh, before May ends and uh, get to fly these guys here. Yeah, that's my inspiration right now is like, you know, weather is kind of a bummer but I always keep thinking the purpose why I'm doing this is I want to fly my parents and I want to fly this guy here. Hopefully by June I get to fly these guys and uh, more flight vlogs coming up to you. Like this. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. What's up, Yon? <laughs> Woo. Beautiful weather. Tomorrow. Is it rain. is. Oh, Tomorrow no. is rain, rain, rain. Oh, no. So yeah, I'm vlogging today because uh, we're going to downtown this afternoon. So catch you guys there after church. Today. Shall we try to see stand up and uh, start, we'll start worshiping? Yeah, studying after church? Yeah, exactly. Look at that. But I got my butt from my mom. Look, look at my mama, so sexy. Oh, there you are. Look at my butt. So sexy. Oh, it's a beautiful day out. Cirrocumulus, <laughs> stratus, stratocumulus, stratocirrus, whatever. Clouds are clouds. What is that? Festival. Festival. All right, now here at um, English Bay, you see all the ships and people. Uh, there's an Inuk, Inuk ship there. Look at that. Oh, you know, oh. Yeah, Inuk mountain Chuk. peaks, Point Atkinson, somewhere around there. I think. And you can see that west tip there of the city of Vancouver. One of the most expensive places you will ever like visit or live in. Mansions, celebrities, name it, polit politicians. And a hop on, hop off bus here provided by the city. But may buy it by me. Exactly. Valet, please, yes. Okay, grab your stuff. Thank you. Here's the key, I'll just leave okay, it here. Great. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. And we are now here. Leave the car there, valley parking. What's up, Dad? Okay, Alright. Look at that! Don't be a Daniel Padilla and shake the tree, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that? I agree. <laughs> It's like good 16 degrees weather right now. It's amazing. Okay, so change of plans. <laughs> Wait time there is almost an hour, so we're just gonna go here, boat house. Where we ate before.
lady. What you doing? <laughs> Feels very touristy here. A lot of people are taking photos. Just like my dad. But yeah. Just over here at um, English Bay still. That's where we ate. It took us two hours, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. So many people. The Vancouver trolley, which is right there. Um, bikes in the city that you can rent. It's expensive though, it's $7.50. And yeah, just enjoying the sun overall. What a beautiful afternoon, right? No. No, it is beautiful. It stops 18 degrees weather, I think. It's pretty chilly, pretty windy. Uh, what's up? What is going on? I'm gonna go. That's a <laughs> that is where the smell is coming from. It smells like onions and hot dogs. Over here in Gastown. Okay. So, oh, there's a Starbucks. All right. This is where they filmed uh, that acupuncture scene in the movie Final Destination 5. I'm just looking for the exact spot where they filmed it. Looks like this building could be it. But this is where they filmed the acupuncture accident. You got the steam clock there. The infamous steam clock. Thank you. Thank you. All right, like what I've said, guys, famous, famous tourist destination here. Um, that steam clock. You always see lineups and people. We just, what is this? Big uh, cruise ship parked over at Canada Place. Actually, I was reading the news the other day, and Canada Place is the best um, dock for cruise ships in yeah, North America. Huh? Yeah. Why don't you put in Oh, they're watching Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> Second round of the playoffs, NHL. You guys are Oilers fans. Surprisingly, there's tons of them here. Like, look, that guy there. <laughs> Oilers fan. I remember last time I was here, it's actually December with the family and we weren't able to go up there. It's uh, called the Vancouver Lookout, I think. So another famous, <laughs> another famous um, chocolate factory here in Vancouver is called Rogers. There's apparently three stores only in BC. So you saw Victoria, Whistler and, and this one. So yeah, yes. if you're ever in the gas town area, check this out. Rogers. Oh, there you go. Free advertisement from this company, which I just tasted their chocolates like five seconds ago. <laughs> okay, we are buying some more, so we're gonna enter. All right, guys. So we are now driving through. We will be driving through what is called. Um, East Hastings here in Vancouver. This is where all the homeless people kind of hang out for 365 days a year. 
I think that's where they hang out for food, to get free food. I think the government provides them free food, which is, uh, I think, good enough. But Injection. Injection sites, Vincent. Yeah, yeah, they get shots there, I think. Yeah. Oh, they have a Starbucks here, though. Look. Huh? Yeah, they give, also get a new Starbucks for them. What's that? <laughs> they also have a new Starbucks. Yeah. Anyways, guys. So every time you see like homeless people, especially here in a first world country like that, you, you always feel like fortunate that you're you, you do not live the kind of life that they live. And I think they're being provided by the government as well, which is good because they're still a human being and uh, just you know experiencing some tough moments in their lives. Pacific Central. Uh, that's where you take the bus going to. The US or anywhere in Canada and take the rail everywhere in Canada. So. I don't know, somebody made it for me. Like how did they make it? They learned you? Yeah. Watch my mouse. Your fans. Where is it? Oh. Alright, Gord. Hi. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? This is Blue Mark. And introduce yourself. Journey. Introduce yourself. A A J. And hey, introduce... subscribe to me, Immortal Gamer. Oh, there you are. Subscribe to me. Shameless plug. Subscribe to me. <laughs> These are our my neighbors who's playing. Quintana, Jeremy, Quintana. <laughs> there you go. My for watching my videos. <laughs> Just about yeah. to end the day. I'm going to go ahead later, guys. Peace. 6.30, I think. Ah. Amazing clouds we have here. Wow. It's like there's a city above those clouds. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think Dad's been working on our gardening here for quite a few days and I like this new setup here so I'm about to end the vlog and I just want to end it with this quick time lapse of me um, pretty much pasting this on my wall um, it is the classes of airspace here in uh, Canada uh, it's pretty similar to what they have in the US class A class B class C class D class E class E class so F class G Uncontrolled, controlled, whatever. I got this from Flight City, so I'm just gonna put it here and uh, try to instill all the um, information that I need. Okay, perfect. Here you are. I got my VTA here, terminal area chart. That is, that is the ooh, focus. That is um, Boundary Bay, that is Langley, that is Pit Meadows, they have a VOR, that's Abbots Ford, that's Chilliwack, Uncontrolled Airspace, Airspace Class G, this is our practice area, it's pretty small, right? It's only about, it's barely uh, 7 nautical miles by <laughs> 5 nautical miles. But it's technically a, sh a small airspace for air for uh, flight training. That's one of the biggest issues as well in the lower mainland. And there's YVR. I'm gonna end the vlog now. If you guys want more of this kind of videos, hopefully when I pass my flight test, I'll be uh, I'll be doing a video on how to pass it. That's that's gonna be pretty interesting, you know. Kind of show you and share, kind of share you how I pass my PPL flight test and eventually how I will prepare to pass my commercial pilot's license as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching another vlog and I apologize for not uploading for the past week and a half. It's, you know, it's been really busy. It's been taking advantage of the time as well. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one as always. Thank you guys and uh, have a good one. Bye. <music>